Hi, I'm Alex Newark. I'm Logan O'Connor. My name's JT Comfort, and we're doing the Climber Challenge. Who do you think your biggest competition is? I think my biggest competition will be OC. Um, although Comp's kind of talking of a big game, he said he's done it a lot of times at Michigan in the summers. They say they do it for conditioning. I have a few times uh, back in college, so it's been a few years. Probably Nui might have to shave some baby blubber off of him in this transform, so we'll see how that goes for him. I think in order it probably goes Logan, biggest competition, Bernie second, and Nui third. Um, JT I'm not so sure about, and he brought his own running shoes. He's a little too intense right now. I think it just shows my experience um, that I came prepared, you know, preparation is uh, the biggest part. They also ha had big burrito bowls they keep complaining about. How long ago did you eat that burrito bowl? Not long enough ago. It's sitting in my throat, I feel like. Loser has to do an impromptu infomercial. How much motivation is that to not lose? Um, you know, I've never done one before, so maybe it'll be fun. Uh, so maybe I'll take it easy just so I can get a little extra camera time. Uh, but also it would be funny to see Alex uh, struggle through that. Do we need to press in on these things? Is that... That's turbo. <laughs> no, it's not, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Bernie, why am I like super nervous right now, man? <laughs> Here, I got you. <laughs> Bernie, you got him. He's gonna die soon. Oh my God, I knew he's going fast. <laughs> wow, knew we got 170. <laughs> <laughs> Good job, brother. Burrito. 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 Yeah, woof. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go short and choppy. These guys don't know what they're doing. Yeah, I think you do short and choppy. They're talking to each other. I couldn't talk to Bernie. Bernie wouldn't give me anything. This is tough. I think OC had to get off to an early start here, but Comp looks like he's plugging back. I like his form. It's a little more short. That's kind of what I went for. But OC's got the full extension. Oh, that was hard. Tough, eh? 159. Okay. Newly. So I put number one there. I knew. <laughs> no. What? Oh. <laughs> Tough, man. A lot harder than I thought. Yeah. I am hot. Thanks. Short and choppy was not the move. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, winner. I'm not staying around for this. One, two, three. I'm Bernie. <laughs> you win uh, the infomercial. Extra screen time. <laughs> this is true. Congratulations, <laughs> bud. This is true. I'm breathing kind of heavy. <laughs> You know it's time to put on your listening sweaters. This time for the Avs and Kings. Force of Nature versus Chess Piece. The Johnson, Eric Johnson shot, knocked down, rebound alive. Picked up, turned to the net, they score! Byron near side liking it. Centers it for Byron, back door, Natushkin, he shoots and scores! McCarr, McKinnon, scores! There's another shot, and they score! Nicholas Obe Kubel! The LA Kings are drinking from a fountain that's pouring like an avalanche that's coming down the mountain. McKinnon on a breakaway, he's in, he shoots and scores! McKinnon is a magician! Nachuskin driving, Nachuskin scores! Lazat in his communication, Burakovsky behind the net, out in front, McKinnon, he shoots and scores! Throw the chapeau! Nathan McKinnon, his fourth career regular season hat trick. It's one for the record books. This Avalanche team has done something that no team in franchise history before them has done. Won 53 games in a season, 29 of them on home ice. Nicholas, what would have been like if you got a hat trick and there weren't any hats left? Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I didn't want to score. No more, no more hats left. Yeah, that would've been cool though. I'll, I'll keep it for another time. Tonight, the Avs stay home for a dance with the Devils.
So put on your listening sweaters for the Abs and Devils. Force of Nature versus Fiddle Contestant. Near side for Darren Helm. Near side wall Helm. Throws on the brakes towards the net. Shot save made. Turn around. Score! OC's playing, baby! Logan O'Connor on the night where he drops the ceremonial puck for his alma mater. Strikes first for the Avalanche. Blocked the clearing attempt. He has it behind the net. Out in front, Burakovsky. He shoots and scores! The net fell over. Back to Rendon. He'll walk in and shoot. Save rebound. Score! Artari Lekin, and it's a power play goal. The Colorado Avalanche have won eight straight games. And they continue to add to their record-setting season. Win number 54. They've won 30 games on home ice. The win versus the Canes will clinch both the division and the conference for the league-leading Colorado Avalanche. Force of Nature versus assistive walking device. Down for Burakovsky at the hash marks. Back for New Hook in space. Wide open, JT Comfer. He shoots and scores. Call JT Comfer. 877 goals now. Operators are standing by. Bell down the slot. Bell to the forehand and a safe rebound. It's loose. Score! Pounded down deep by Nathan McKinnon. Here's Burakovsky again. In front. Score! Here's Logan O'Connor, he spins loose, out in front, puck is free, SCORE! It's Ben Myers! My! Oh! Myers! His first NHL goal in his first NHL game! Here's looking at you, kid! What a night! Big Kubel to himself. Centers it off, new hook down the slot, got hooked, SCORE! Newhook stays with a play. Chase, as does McKinnon. Elijah Pesci from Beckett. Score! Out of nowhere, Miko Rantanen, the Moose, got loose. The Colorado Avalanche are back to back Central Division champions. And they, once again, are the best in the West. Boys, good win against a good team. Playoff type style. Small for goal. This goes to Benny. It's for All right, boys. Oh, all right. Uh, yeah. Face off is won by the Avs. Hone in on Samsonov. He makes the save, and the game is over. Final score from Ball Arena, downtown Denver. Capitals three and the Avalanche two. Just off the plane, onto the shore here in Seattle, Washington, here with Ben Myers. Had your first NHL game, had your first NHL goal. Now this is your first NHL road trip. Is it just spinning around like this right now, life? Yeah, yeah, things are happening fast right now. I'm just trying to take it all in and uh, enjoy the experience. I mean, what have been your, some of your favorite things so far, whether it's tiny interactions with teammates, uh, uh, meetings with coaches, what have been your favorite things? Yeah, um, obviously it's been nice to meet everybody in the organization and um, you know, just really get a feel for um, you know, how things are done here in Colorado. And, and just to, to be, be able to be a part of this team is, I think, um, really special for me. It's becoming more common to be a college free agent and then jumping into the National Hockey League. I mean, we have. Nico Sturm on this team who did that, Logan O'Connor on this team who did that. Yeah. What have your conversations with them been like about your experience going right from college right into the NHL? Yeah, um, I mean, we haven't had a ton of talks yet. Um, they've kind of been curious, uh, more curious about what it's like for me, I guess, because um, they went through the experience a couple years ago. But, um, you know, those guys have been great. I've been asking them questions all week on, you know, just tips going into games and stuff. So, um, yeah, they've been great for me. Obviously, this team is... Stanley Cup favorites at this point. You have some immense talent, but you fit right in beautifully, I think. 
Who's been your favorite player to, to, to just watch so far? Yeah, um, I mean. They're not going to know. Yeah, I, I mean, I would say Nathan McKinnon. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's special, so yeah. I think we all know that. So he's, he's fun to watch. Now, when you, you go from college and, look, you're, you're in a big tournament, right? I mean, University of Minnesota, you're the captain of the University of Minnesota, and then you go to the Frozen Four. I mean, are you the type of guy that feels pressure? Because all three of those things, there's some massive pressure on your shoulders there. Do you feel that at all? Yeah. Um, no, I think you definitely feel the pressure as um, the season um, kind of winds down and, and games mean more. But, um, you know, I think, you know, you just got to find a, a place in your game and, and have that bring out the best in you. I think that's the only way you can handle that. Would you go so far as to say that you almost like the pressure? Yeah. Um, in some ways, yeah. It's not hard to get up for a big game. So, yeah. <laughs> Talking with Jared Bednar, what has he said that your place is on this team now? Unfortunately, you can't be a part of the Stanley Cup playoffs, but then now Joe Sackick as well and into the future. Yeah, no, I think he just um, wants me to get some experience right now. And, um, you know, he's kind of just said, you know, learn from the guys in the room and, and just play hard and, um, you know, kind of just keep, uh, keep, keep working hard and keep trying to learn. Are you as surprised as I am to see the, the sun in Seattle, Washington? We've heard stories about <laughs> yeah. this. Um, you know, I, I've heard it rains a lot here, but this is my first time here, and you know, I don't think uh, <laughs> I don't think this is what I was picturing. So, so I can't let you go. I mean, a first NHL goal on a first NHL shot is something that Kim McCarr did, Mario Lemieux did, and you did. But I, I want you to to walk me through it here. Um, who's on the ice with you? What happens? on this entire play. Yeah, um, Logan O'Connor's getting in on the four check. Um, then Josh Manson actually stepped up and, and kept the puck in the zone. And then um, OC took it to the net and then I just came right to me. I mean, hard work all around though, right? Like yeah. you, you didn't expect Manson to be where he was. Yeah. Did you expect the pass from Logan O'Connor to come out in front? No, well, I mean, or was know, it for I was Cogliano? Just, <laughs> yeah, it might have been for Cogs, but uh, you know, thankfully I was going to the net, and then it, uh, I guess good things happen when you go to the net. And you got mugged not once, but twice on the ice <laughs> and then by everybody at the bench. Yeah. Usually for a first NHL goal, there's a, a water bottle shower. Did you get one of those? Uh, no, I did not. Uh -uh. <laughs> it's a Gabe Landis-Cog thing. We'll save that yeah. for when uh, for when he comes back. Yeah. Anyhow, it, it, is it fun to watch it? over and over yeah it's not bad yeah <laughs> it's not I like bad it. <laughs> we'll watch as many times we probably watch it more times than you have congratulations on that by the way thank you thank you